Hello, how are you? Hi, hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. ¿Qué tal de lluvia por allá? Is it, raining? Is it raining where you live? Yes. Here in Santana, yes. Okay. Here in San Salvador too, it started raining kind of, kind of hard. Okay, vamos a ver how many are, oh, I have 11 here. Nice, nice, nice. Let's check the attendance. We finish unit number three today. Unit three. So tomorrow we begin unit number four. I'm sorry. We're going on the last, almost the last week because we finish next Monday, right? Let's see Adolfo Rivas present. Adolfo. Yeah, not here. Adriana Maria. Adriana. Teacher, hello. Hi, Adolfo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It's raining now here in Nahapara. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Eh, Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Brenda Alexandra. Present teacher. Lupe. Cruz Antonio. Cruz, Cruz. Present teacher. Hey, David. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. No. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Okay. Carla Lorena. Present. Okay, Carla. Hi, teacher. <laughs> How are you, Carlita? Fine, thank you. Fine, fine. Mire cómo está el volcán loco. Aquí estamos algo afligidos porque... Mm. Al hacer erupción, dicen que afecta a todo San Miguel. Híjole. Sí, porque es bien grande, ¿verdad? Sí. Híjole. A ver, ¿qué tal? Dios quiera que se vaya echando su aire poquito a poco. Mm -hmm. Se quede tranquilo. Sí, ¿no? ¿verdad? Que sí. Se debe. Sí, qué tremendo. Si sí, estábamos viendo, nosotros vamos siguiendo ahí la, la secuencia de, de lo que van reportando y, y pues reportan que está bastante, bastante fuerte. ¿verdad? Sí, donde yo trabajo lo veo de frente y hay veces que, que, que sí vemos cuando se dan las explosiones. Ay, no, qué nervios. Pero solo se ve de lejos, solo se ve así el humo que uh -huh. sale. Sí. Pero sí, está bien feo. Ya se está poniendo feo. Sí. Ya estamos buscando dónde vamos a correr. Sí, hay que hacer la ruta. Sí. Hay que hacer la ruta, porque pues sí, no se sabe, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. sí. Hay, que, hay que salir, hay que hacer la ruta de por dónde es que, que toca que salir. Dios quiera que no. ¿Verdad sí, que no? Ojalá que no. 
que no sea necesario, pero... A que sea por Honduras, no vamos a ir a meterle, digo yo, a dar la vuelta, a salir al otro lado. Cabal, y van a salir allá a Chalatenango. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. nosotros eso íbamos a hacer una vez, que andábamos por Metapán, y cuando hizo erupción el... Bueno, no hizo erupción, ¿verdad? Pero empezó a tirar cosas el volcán de Santana. Y como teníamos que pasar por Santana para llegar a San Salvador, bueno, estábamos en Santana, estábamos en Metapán, pero teníamos que pasar cerca, entonces dijimos, ups, si ahí está feo, pues agarramos callecita fea llegando a Chalate y allá bajamos por el otro lado. Pero gracias, no fue mucho. Pero a ver qué tal, cómo, cómo sigue esto. Sí, ojalá que... Que, se, que vaya así, cabal, ¿verdad? Es mejor que vaya por poquitos. Sí. Liberando la energía por poquitos. Ay, como estuvo el de, el de, ¿cómo se llama? El de Salco, fue, ¿verdad? Que estuvo activo un tiempo, pero que no llegó a más. Sí, 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 ojalá, porque por eso está toda la gente que vive ahí en las, sí, en las bandas, ¿verdad? Sí. Ya tuvieron que evacuar. Sí, sí. Por las cenizas. Exacto, las cenizas, todos los gases que tira y todo eso, al final de tanto afectan. Creo que están sí. recomendando andar con mascarilla. Sí, ¿Por? nosotros de todos solo con mascarilla andamos, pero para si las cenizas llegan lejos. Sí, sí, pues sí. Sí. sí no me extrañaría que lleguen a, a los demás departamentos que están cerca. Sí. Pero primero Dios, Carlita. Sí, sí, para que no pase nada. Y no pase más, ¿verdad? Sí. Vamos a ver, Mauricio Emilio. Mauricio. ¿Cómo está Mauricio? Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Pedro Luis. Presente, Chá. Okay. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl. Zulma. Zulma, Zulma. Presente, Ok. Víctor Manuel. Present. Ok, Víctor. Fernando. Present, teacher. And Rosin. Present, teacher. Wait. A ver if anybody else got here. Adriana María. Ana. Present, teacher Adriana. Okay. Here. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ana Alicia. Ana. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudita me dijo present por ahí. Vamos. Ok. José Alfredo. Mauricio, Nubia, Saúl Edgardo, Nubia, ok. Nice. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. Shalabi, excelente. Bueno, well, vamos a ver, today. Uh -huh. Let's go here. Our class number 20, right? Class number 20. That means that we finish in a couple of days. We finish next Monday. Be sure that you finish the platform this week this coming Friday, the latest, and that you start working Dixon, right? So by Monday, I can come. No, I will pick up the grace before. So I pick up grace on Friday. On Monday, I just will give the last check, okay? So be sure that you're working in the platform on time and that you have no problems. And if and the thing is that also if there are any questions, we can help you, right? If when you're working quickly or when you're working with time, 
But if we leave it at the last time, it's like, oh. A teacher, y aquí que hay ya el lunes a las diez y media, once de la noche, y ahí ya no juego yo, ¿verdad? Así es que, <laughs> check if you have any questions during the, during the, 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 the time, during the week. It's better so we can go working on that with time. It's still having enough time. Okay, check. Today we have explained safety measures related to different processes at the warehouse. And we will also be working on the second grammar point of the unit, talking about if closes and when closes, okay? So when we talk about this, if clauses, we're talking about conditionals, right? That's conditional type one. That's the one that it's similar to use the when clause. So that's what we are going to be doing today. Now, check. I have a couple of questions for you. It says, has are those materials and machinery are always found in a warehouse? How do you keep your employees out of danger? What kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in a warehouse? So think about it. And I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to go discuss, right? Discuss with your partners. As are those materials and machinery are always found in a warehouse. You have a lot of machinery, for example, the forklifts, right? That can cause any accident in a warehouse. Or there are some other hazardous materials that you may have in the warehouse, right? So how do you keep your employees out of danger? And what kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in a warehouse. Those are the questions that you're going to be discussing. We are on page 32 of the, of the book, of the manual. I'm going to send you mm, your six, 16. I'm going to make groups of four, hoping that all the groups have enough people, right? There you go. If you feel lonely, Call me, right? I guess I have a listener in each. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Bashan. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Join. Yes. With good. Adolfo. Lo voy a mandar con el otro dispositivo too. Because I see you twice. Creo que sí. And there. Yes. Page 32. There is no hazardous materials. Hazardous. Hazardous. And my hazardous materials. I was found. How do you keep your employees out of danger? I don't know. Maybe they they are, are oblig obligatory to use security shoes that is uh, made in other material to protect the, the toes. Um, and how do you say the, la, they use uh, a mask when you are uh, uh, using a, a chemistry. When you're manipulating, you can say? Manipulated, yes. 
-huh. eh, son sustancias. Substances. A, a dangerous. Dangerous substances, yes. Eh, love to is possible. Uh, uh, how do you think Carlia and Nubia and Pedro? Nubia. Nubia is somewhere. Nubia. Uh, Nubia is here. Yeah. Ahí anda. I think that the kind of dangerous material and chemical, for example, um, solvent material, material, a flammable material. Ah, yeah. Flammable? Yes. For example, uh, how do you say solvent como thinner? Mm -hmm. I am looking for solvent in English. Thinner. Solvent. Solvent. Or thinner. Or, or gases. Gases. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The um, employees have uh, a protection. For example, mask, eh, glasses, um, slow, or eh, want, how do you say want this? Gloves. 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 Um, and uh, and another protect like the earring. Hearing protectors, yes. Hearing protector. Yes, definitely, that's true. That's extremely necessary. Yes. Um. Safety regulation. Viene la teacher, preguntémosle. Hello. Comply with safety regulation. Comply with the regulations. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The regulation safety, teacher. Safety regulations. The safety regulations. Mm -hmm. This is the answer to the question number two. When say, uh, how do you keep your employees out of danger? This is first question. The answer is, uh, comply with safety regulation, maybe. El equipo de protección. Yes, the EPP. In the second question, I think the um, what kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may may be found in the warehouse. In my case, is the lip drop, is the transpallet, is the battery for lip drop, uh, maybe the elevator. Um, and product of, for example, chemical and, and chemical, that's it, maybe.
In my case, alcohol. 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 And that can be flammable, right? Yes. And you also? In my case, <clears throat> uh, in the workplace, we have many toxic products. Um, solventes, ¿cómo se dice? Solvente. Mm -hmm. Si hay una traducción. Uh, algo así, porque... <laughs> Sinner es el, es el solvente, right? Ajá. En la traducción me sale solvents nada más. Solvent. Pero ese es un, eh, that is the uh, one type of, of, of solvent, the, the thinner. Ajá, no, no. I guess it's in a different context. It should be so. Ajá. And we have uh, flammables. Oh. ¿Cómo se dicen los materiales inflamables, Ticha? Flammable. Uh -huh. Flammable materials. Flammable materials. Uh -huh. Yes, you have different flammable, yeah, because of the, because of the paint, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. If you have um, the pool paint, and you open the 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 gas the the qué <laughs> the gas no no eh, eh, de, de, el el recipiente ah. el, 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 the container we can the container if you open the container uh, okay. with the pool paint uh -huh. and you uh, hay hay palabras que me van oler mm -hmm. solo con el olor if you smell, uh -huh. if you smell uh, for uh, 30 seconds, you have much problems, health problems. If you Is, smell the paint to the sinner. The paint, the pool paint mm -hmm. for, uh, for the swimming pool. Uh -huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That is worse than. It's very toxic. That product is very toxic. Imagine. For apply, for apply the, 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 the paint, you need to uh, use the, the protection equipment, yeah. mask and glasses. Imagine in my case, I have problem with normal paint. <laughs> I would die with that one. Eh. Wow. The traffic pain is, is very toxic too. Traffic. Uh huh. For the streets. Uh huh. Yeah, because the they, have, they have to be very strong, right? Yes. They have to support. They have to stand a lot of a lot of things. Mm hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> to use enough equipment to protect? Uh, in my case, uh, I don't in, enter in the in in that areas. But the the employees in in que uh, están asignados that are assigned that are assigned in, in in the in the area in the warehouse. They mm. have. Mm -hmm. They have to enter there. Yes. And, and they need to prepare from one bottle um, to other bottle. And, and they need to ma manipulate the, the paint. Wow. Mm -hmm. Need to use gloves, masks, glasses. They, they spend a lot of time inside right mm -hmm. yes a lot of time wow that's terrible vamos a ver 
well, I'm going to go to another room and then I call you in a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Mm -hmm. Pero tienen tóxicos. Tóxicos, ajá. It has tóxicos. So, uh, you and number in all of these is in the material safety data sheet. Yes. All of that. Oh. The safety material data sheet. Of each material of each material that you are handling. So um I think that have the safety material data sheet of each material that you are handling or storage is the, is the most important thing for uh, keep your employees out of danger or mm -hmm. uh, let your employees know about how they have to proceed in case of if to, if if have contact with these materials or mm -hmm. or how to storage or how to to transport them or or pack pack them packed. Them. Mm -hmm. In some cases, if you have, I don't know how to say, como barriles, dumps, barrels, barrels okay. Barrels. Mm -hmm. Sometimes barrels. you have a limit of liters that you can, that you could put in a barrel. Mm -hmm. Barrels. Barrels. Mm -hmm. So you, you you couldn't put more than I don't know twenty liters, mm -hmm. uh, or if you have a some chem a chemical, but it, I don't know say how to say polvo, como, uh -huh. como polvo. dust, dust. You have to to put the dust in cubetas. <laughs> and like in a in a in a tub. In a tub, and you couldn't put more than four uh, cup cups cup? on a pile. On a pallet. Uh -huh. On a pile. Pallets. Uh -huh. Not on the floor. Uh huh. El tema de hazardous materials is very. Oh. Amplio. I don't <laughs> I mix in Spanish English. <laughs> <laughs> Do you work in a place that use all of this? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. I have worked in, in, in logistics in international transport maybe mm. for eight years. Then oh. I I have taken some classes of materials, of the hazardous materials, because Hi. Hi, teacher. Somebody call uh, me. Somebody? Uh, call me. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh, we me. want to you hear us to discuss the the okay. point that you give us, give us. Perfect, perfect. We we were talking about the hazardous point where that we can avoid to to avoid the uh, some accident. And Adolfo was talking about the if you knew the first aid when you when something's happened. And I was talking about the I was I I used to work in a warehouse, and it was a rule to to put on your 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 protective equipment. And what happened if somebody doesn't want if somebody doesn't want to wear it? It's a rule, teacher. If you don't want, you go. Okay. It's, Okay, okay, that, that, that's what I wanted to see. Because the thing is that sometimes people say, ah, no, okay, I, I don't want to use it. I, 
I don't need it. Yeah, no, for example, teacher, we talk about the uh, chemical inputs warehousing, right? Mm -hmm. The first step, the first step is a permanent training about the 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 about about of the chemical inputs that we manage in the storage, right? For example, rule number one not drunk inside or in your job number two we have we we need to know the the chemical forms or or chemical or chemical composition about the products we have to or we need to avoid any any uh fl flammable flammable is flammable. right uh -huh, flammable. flammable flammable products and we have to uh, as a manager of uh, of a storage or of, of chemical inputs uh, every every training has a certificate for to avoid uh, the accident or risk during the the manage the managing of the products for example and and you have to know and you have to know how to avoid and how to treat how to treat any accident for example uh, there are there are chemical inputs in case of intoxication of the personnel uh, you you can treat with uh, with lemonade but other products uh, other intoxic into, uh, intoxication product, products uh, you can use a uh, milk or you can use oh. a mixer or water and soil, for example. Uh -huh. Can you or milk? Can you use coffee? Uh, yeah, of course, because the the hydrogen potential is so effective to attract some some molecule molecular products. Mm -hmm. yeah because yeah. when when something is poisonous i have seen that people use like a combination of the three right lemon milk and coffee and coffee yeah of course the three things so if one doesn't work the other should do something right mm -hmm. do you have those things on hand in the company like to use them in case somebody do you do you do you have do you have those things milk coffee lemons near ah we we have to we have to or we need to get or keep a a first aid a first aid in in the storage Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine. It's... Yeah, it's so it's so difficult to work with chemical inputs. Uh, you don't have to to smoke inside of of the warehouse, for example. Exactly, because it's... yeah, or you have to you have or you need to use a specific mask to avoid the inhalation of the of the product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not like normal mask that we wear to be outside in the street, right? It has to be some special mask, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a specific mask. A, a special. A special, okay. A special mask. Uh -huh, because it has to protect, to, to protect you complete, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, bueno, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I have heard of paint. I have heard of poisonous things. Also materials that are difficult to handle and can cause a danger too, right? Well, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
<laughs> silence. Okay. Nice. Maybe any function. Okay, Basha. Vamos a ver. Check. We are four minutes, two minutes, one. Everybody here. Let's see, uh, we were talking about hazardous materials and machinery are always found in a warehouse, right? As you were mentioning, some of you were mentioning a machinery that is dangerous and some others were talking about hazardous uh, materials uh, like paint, for example. I would like to listen to how do you keep your employees out of danger? Yes, eh, Adolfo. Adolfo, hello. Adolfo, Adolfo, Adolfo. I see your hand up. He's gone. Se fue. Adolfo, don't speak with the microphone close. Yeah, now, <laughs> yeah, right now. Yeah. All is okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, another volunteer. Adolfo creo que tiene problemas. No, I am I'm listening perfectly. In my group, in our group, we talk about the chemical inputs warehouse. Mm -hmm. And we we are and we are agree with the permanent training about the chemical inputs as a first step to avoid accident or risk in the in the job team. Yeah? Yes. Um, is basically to is is very important to to have a to have a first aid uh, storage or we, first we have to keep a first, first aid kit. A kit, yeah. First aid kit uh, and how to treat and know how to treat uh, the, uh, for example, any accident about or caused by into intoxication of the chemical inputs, for example, and to avoid some, some, some activities, for example, is not admitted to, to drink or to drink some uh, inside or to a smoke, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, definitely, right? Uh, well, suppose that those are things that you should not do in, in the workplace, right? For example, mm -hmm. imagine smoke. Mm -hmm. That should not be done in any public area. And do it. Worst, right? Because that mm -hmm. can become a danger, definitely a danger. Okay, anybody else? David? Um, who, who? Me, teacher. Okay, Fernando. Okay, and, and how do you keep your, your employees out of danger? Mm -hmm. And maybe you can create awareness among employees so that they use the protective equipment and obviously give them give them the give them the equipment exactly that is one very important thing right if if the if in the workplace you get the equipment you cannot say no i'm not going to wear it i want to get in risk 
right? And the responsibility in case of any problem will not be over the, 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 the company, that will be over the employee that is not wearing the equipment. But what about if you are not getting, if, if you're not given the equipment that you need to use, right? So that would be a real problem for the company in case of an accident. Okay, let's see the next question. What kind of dangerous materials and chemicals can be found in a warehouse? Alberto was mentioning some chemicals. Yes, teacher. Oh, no. What chemicals do you have or can you find in, your, in a warehouse? <laughs> uh, I mentioned that the toxic products and in our warehouse, all the products is uh, about paints mm -hmm. and different areas, but uh, almost uh, almost everything the product is is toxic, and we have solvents, thinners, flammable materials, and it, we want a uh, Machines, uh, dangerous machines. Mm -hmm. Heavy machines, right? Yes, heavy machines too. Okay, thank you, Alberto. One last volunteer to answer the second question. Me, teacher. With the, the Rose and the Jose, a good discussion. Um, Additional, the, the mention of Jose is uh, the equipment, for example, lift drop, uh, elevator, trans mm -hmm. uh, battery for, for lift drop. Okay, the forklift is really, really dangerous, right? Yes. And imagine if the employee is too tired they may provoke an accident with that, right? So the, yes, time, the time, the working time in the, in the warehouse, it's another thing that should be very important to consider, yeah? Because if somebody is very tired when manipulating those machines, they can have an accident or they can provoke an accident in the company. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, we're going to move to the point, to the grammar point of the day. Uh, today we're talking. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're talking about when, <laughs> when clauses and if clauses, right? Closes with when or if, describe what you think you will do or what will happen in a specific time in the future, right? In a specific situation in the future. And look at the examples. When there are inaccurate purchase orders, customers' satisfaction will be compromised. When? When, when there are, check present, right? When there are inaccurate purchase orders, customer satisfaction will be compromised or customer satisfaction will be compromised when there are inaccurate purchase orders. It doesn't matter uh, what order you use, right? So you can begin with the when, or you can put when in the middle, no problem. We're talking about clauses. And remember when we talk about clauses, they can be dependent or they can be independent. A dependent clause is a clause that is not a sentence. For example, when I say, there are inaccurate purchase orders, right? Is that a sentence? Is that independent? Mm -mm, no, especially if I add when to it. When there are inaccurate purchase orders, 
I'm missing something else. I need to complete my idea. And then I use the other independent clause or the other dependent clause that's customer satisfaction will be compromised. And remember, the order doesn't matter what order you give. If you begin with when, or if you put when in the second clause. If you begin with when, you're separating one clause from the other one with a comma. But if you begin uh -huh. with, the, with the future clause, we can say, and you put when in the middle, there is no comma. Okay. And something very important to, to take into account is that when the clause that begins with when is in present. While the other, no, the second clause is in future. Okay. When with present will, and the second clause will be in future, right? The same happens when you are using if, you can use if instead of when, right? You're always talking about future. Remember, we're talking about what you think will you will do or what you think will happen. So what will happen if there are inaccurate purchase orders? Well, the customer satisfaction will be compromised. Okay? And look at this second sentence. If there is a lack of communication between employees, comma, productivity will decrease. The if clause will be in present and the result clause will be in future, okay? If there is a lack of communication between employees, productivity will decrease. Oh, productivity will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, in the first uh, sentence, mm -hmm. if you if you if you want to use if, there is going to put a is or, for example, in the second sentence, is if there is a lack of communication. Uh, no, podría ir if there are a lack of communication. No, because we say a lack of communication. A ah, es singular. Ah, sí, es cierto. Sorry. Sí, ese es el motivo. So, uh, for example, if you say, if there are inaccurate purchase orders, so you can put if, right? But you are expressing a condition. But this doesn't change because it depends on the, on the singular or plural, right? That you use. So that, that would be the same. And if you notice, when you begin with when, you put a comma in the middle, right? When you begin with if, you put a comma in the middle too. Okay, so there is a lack of communication between employees, productivity will decrease. Productivity will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees. Mm -hmm. And this note, notice that the when, if clause is, ex, is expressed in present and the independent clause expresses future tense with will. So all the clauses, including when or including will, including if, sorry, these clauses will be in present but the result clause will be in future. Now let's look at some other examples, right? Remember we're talking about the future here. In time clauses with words like when, there are many other cases, right? So we have when, after, and until, we often use present tense forms to talk about the future. I'll come home when I finish work. What will happen first? First, I will finish work and then I will come home. First, I finish work and then I come home. See? So I'll come home when I finish work. 
When I finish work, I will come home. You must wait here until your father comes. You must wait here oh. until your father comes. You see, until this clause will um. also use future, hasta, right? Until your father comes. They are coming after they have had dinner. ¿Se acuerdan que ya estuvimos hablando de esta, de esta expresión? After. And if I say they are coming after they have had dinner, that means that first they will have dinner and then they will come. See? They, I will come home when I finish work. First I will finish work and then I will come. See? So if I tell you, I'll call you when I get home. No le voy a llamar mientras no llegue, right? I will call you until I get home. Okay? No antes, until I get home. La diferencia entre until y when es que si yo le digo, I will call you when I get home, le voy a llamar al solo entrar, pongo un pie adentro y le llamo, right? I will call you when I get home. I will call you until I get home. No espere mi llamada antes, si no le llamo porque no he llegado. Pero no necesariamente al solo llegar le voy a llamar, right? So that would be like a difference here. But the same. First this and then this one. You must wait here until your father comes. Hasta que llegue el papá, tiene que esperar allí. Okay? Any question here? Question. Clear like your chata. <laughs> no, verdad? Está fácil. Vayamos. Okay. Check. Now, what happens when we're talking about conditions? In conditional clauses with words like if, unless, or even if, we often use present tense to talk about the future. So we can have uh, if, unless, or even if, right? We won't be able to go out if it is raining. Check. If clause is in present, but we're talking about future, right? We won't be able to go out if it is raining. I will come home tomorrow unless I have to look after the children. Unless I have to. A menos que. It's unless, right? I will come tomorrow unless I have to look after, to look after the children. Mm -hmm. Look after is take care. It's the same. I, if I have to unless take care. I have to take care of the children. Yes. Okay. Look after. Yeah. Even if Barcelona, aquí le falta una S. Even if Barcelona loses tomorrow, they will still be champions. Yes? Even if Barcelona loses tomorrow, they will be champions. Even if aún, right? Aún. Yeah. O aunque pierda. <laughs> the team have uh, enough points. Exactly, it has enough points. It will still be changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any question here? No? Okay. Now, check this. We do not normally use will in time clauses and conditional clauses. Uh, for example, if I have, I will come home when I finish. No digo when I will finish, aunque esté hablando de future, ¿verdad? I will come yeah. home when I finish. We won't be able to go out if 
it rains. No, if it will rain, that's not possible. It will be nice to see Peter when he gets home. So remember, if closes and when closes are followed by present. You must wait here until your father comes. Comes. Yes. I will be very happy if. Is that correct? Can you help me correct that sentence? Perdón. Ah, sí, sí. Espérame. No, teacher, no está correcta. It's not correct. Why not? Because uh, in the first in the first part, you say I will be very happy. And the second part, you only say if you come to my party. Uh huh. I will be very happy if you come to my party. See, porque si no, sounds weird, right? A menos que usted diga, if you will to come to my party. Pero en ese caso, estamos hablando de un deseo. A menos que desee venir. Mm. I, we should finish the job early if George will help us. A menos que George desee o quiera ayudarnos, right? Pero eso es ya así como un caso muy, muy, muy extremo, right? Ya es, es así como de esas estructuras más rebuscadas. Pero en normal, we will say, pues no, right? If we use or we respect the structure that we will close and in when close, we do not use will. Okay, look at this example. We choose the correct answer. We'll stop. Mm -hmm. We will stop. We will stop for some lunch when we get to the next petrol station. Number two. I call you. I will call you when I get home. When I get home, okay. I will call you. I will call you. When I get home, I will call you. Okay. Mm -hmm. When we get to the next petrol station, we will stop for some lunch. So you can perfectly move the order of the question of the sentence, right? Not a problem then. Now check this. In this case, we're going to use a, this is a first conditional, right? A conditional where you're using if and future, right? Okay, I'm going to do the first example for you and then you will do the rest. We what do you say we will have we will have we will have some sore eyes or he will have some sore eyes if he spends too much time on the computer. Right? If he spends too much time on the computer, he will have sore eyes. What is sore eyes? Um, Dolor en los ojos. Yeah, right? Like a tired. His eyes were hard. Yeah, his eyes were hard. Okay. Okay. What about number two? If she... Remember, if close, we use present simple. If she doesn't use. Doesn't use. If she doesn't use light colors. The picture will be too dark. Uh-huh, exactly. If she doesn't use light colors, the picture will be too dark. Mm -hmm. Bye. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to go work with your partners and complete this 
sentences together, right? So you can help each other. Vamos a ver, I'm going to share them in the chat. Present teacher. Yeah. Uy, sí, thank you very much. Espérenme <laughs> que voy a dejar de compartir. Ya dejé compartir, no, ¿verdad? Ahí está. No, yet. Now, yes. <laughs> okay. Tell me present. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, mandarla a lo grupo posible. Okay, Adolfo. Present teacher. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. No, Ana. Brenda. Present teacher. Luz. Cruz, Cruz, Cruz. Present. David. Present teacher. Eh, José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Arnoldo. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mauricio Emilio. Mauricio, ¿cómo no está Mauricio? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl. No está Saúl. Sulma Janet. Present teacher. Victor. Victor. Fernando. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Ok. Pacha, muy bien. Y I'm going to send you then to the groups. And you will do these exercises, right? Let's see. ¿Cuál es el que pegué ya? <ríe> ok, Gino. Ahí está. Que la compu me hizo trampa. Me lo puso a todos a empezar de uno. Va, Iván. Ashipan chat. Now, I'm going to send it to the groups. I'm going to remake the groups, but you will be always four. There you go. Join, join. Try to join. José Alfredo, José Arnoldo, Víctor, Claudia. Okay, let me... We are starting number three. If you, I think you don't write a letter to Santa Claus, you won't get any present. <laughs> Do you see my do you see my screen? 
ठीक दिस वन राइट कंडीशनल ही हैज टू शोर आईज इफ ही स्पेंड्स टू मच टाइम ऑन द कंप्यूटर गेम he so he has to right no he will have he will have ha uh aha -huh. if she if he ah the second mm -hmm. the second one if she Doesn't use light colors. The picture doesn't use light color. The picture will be too dark. I know. I know. Come. Muy chiquito el espacio. Uh -huh. Bueno, medio. Así de. <laughs> ok. If I think you... number three is if you don't write a letter. If, if you don't write. Mm -hmm. No, if don't. Don't. Because I, uh -huh. if what? you don't write a letter. If Tom no, gets back early, if Tom gets back early, he will tell. He will. If Tom gets back early, he will get. He will tell. He will tell. Get there. No, we are low. No, we are. Hola, teacher. Hola, teacher. Ahí está pobre Adolfo hablando solito. No, yo saludé, pero. Hello. Eh, Pedro. Hola. Pedro está enfermito. Uy, ¿Qué le pasó? Enfermo. Hola. Pero ahí está Adolfo. Ok. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, Uy, Arnold. 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 Uh, Arnold. Chucha, solo con, con Adriana estamos. Pero ya está de oyente, creo. No. Por ahí les traigo a Adolfo, que estaba allá y nadie le contestó. Ah, pues sí, que venga a ayudarnos porque estamos enredados con la tres ahorita. <risa> <risa> ok. Sí, es que no, no. Me parece que quizás sería... Oh. 
negative, negative. Sería if you not will write, teacher. No, negative y present. Oh. Ah. If you don't write. Okay. Don't. If you don't write. Mm -hmm. Es que nos, nos trabamos en el will. Uh -huh. Pero yo no veía ningún Acuérdense no. que el will va en el result, pero no en la if clause. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't write a letter to Santa Claus, you won't uh. get present. Any present. Mm -hmm. Así queda, teacher, sin el will, mm -hmm. para nada, ¿verdad? No, no, porque el, el, will, yeah. ya, el will ya está en negativo. And you won't get it. Mm -hmm. One, you won't ah, get anything. Uh -huh. Eso, okay. Mm -hmm. Will not get or want. Will not. You will not or you want, it's, it's the same. Mm -hmm. It's, it's the, the affirmative. If Tom gets back early, he will tell. Mm -hmm. Ay, perdón, yo que estoy haciendo. Will tell. You can move the text. No At puedo porque, porque estoy desde WhatsApp y si me muevo me quito. Will tell. <laughs> ok, don't aquí worry. Lo hemos, aquí lo hemos adaptado. <laughs> If Tom gets back early, he will tell you about it. He will tell you about it if Tom gets back early. If Tom gets back early, gets back early, mm -hmm. he will tell you about it. He will tell you about it. If I If I will be right, no? No. no. I'll, I'll. If I. If I will be right. Yeah. No. No. If I. Um. If I'm right. right if i am right if i am right if, if i am right they won't they won't be able to pay back all the money she will have no she doesn't no she will have if I, Right. If I am right, if I am the right, they side. won't be able to pay if back I all the money. They won't be able. Acuérdense, aquí está ya el, el future, ¿ve? El future va right. en la, la result, no en la if clause. Right? Mm -hmm. The if clause is in present. Yeah. So is, she has to drive. Mm hmm on the left side. Yes. She has to drive on the left side of the road when she goes Britain. to Britain. Mm. Well, I, don't, I don't remember in this. Won't, won't, won't get. Won't. Mm. ¿Qué les he dicho sobre la if clause? If there is a, if they, don't, don't, don't get, 
If they, if they don't, don't. if they don't, If you don't, if if you don't, 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 don't put so much. Don't care. Sugar. Les falta. Don't. Les falta, les falta. Solo me han puesto el don't. If they don't get the verb. Mm -hmm. You have to use the verb. If they don't get it. Get up. Uh, ah, no. Ajá, get, get up. up. Sí, ya, ya está ahí. If they don't get up early, they can't go jogging. Igual en la uno y la dos. You will qué? Pay. Uh -huh. You will pay. Y, y, y la otra, you will? Able. Be, 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 be. be, be. You will be, be able. Be able. Sí. What happened, baby? Baby, <laughs> hello. Hello. Ya les dije, el de allá arriba me han omitido el verbo también. Sí, yeah. Okay. And the second has we will be able. No solo will able, porque el verbo es be able. Be able. Uh -huh. We'll be able. Aha, uh -huh. I see. Yes, I see. I see. Very good. Go the up, 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 up. Hi, hi. Finished. Hi, right, teacher. We have a, we have a doubt. Uh -huh. In the number five, you can see what my partner is share, sharing. If he continues to work hard, he will be the best. See, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but I, I mean, if he continues to work, it was not working. If he continues working hard. No, it's okay. Con continuo uh, podemos usar a, a infinitive or general. Okay. If Johnny plays in the mud, he will get dirty. See, that's okay. Okay. Por, ¿Por qué dijo teacher? ¿Por qué qué? ¿Por qué se puede ocupar el to work y no el working? Ah, porque en, con continuous, con el verbo continuous puede usar infinity y gerund. Ah, okay. To work o continuous working, both are okay. Ah, okay. Eso es nuevo para mí, mire, teacher. Gracias. Ok. ¿El otro grupo ya lo terminaron? Yes. Ok. Pero, teacher, entonces, ¿se puede usar los dos o solo to work? No. O, you o continuous to work o continuous working. Continuous working hard. O if he continues to work hard. Los dos es, es, son posibles. Ah, ok. Sí. Es de los verbos en que se puede usar gerund o infinitivo y no cambia el significado, porque hay algunos en los que sí el significado cambia. Uh -huh. Pero en ese no cambia. Okay, any questions? No. No, no. Vámonos, pues. One minute. How was it? Easy? A little bit? I think it's easy. The like is easy. So
to can you? A ver, what do you have? Bueno, no han venido todo, ¿verdad? Todavía. Vamos a ver, we're missing. We're going to wait for the others to come. We're missing a couple of people. Thirteen here. Ready? Oh, you see it, huh? You see it? Yeah. Now everybody back. Okay, let's see number three. If you, if you don't write a letter to Santa Claus, exactly. you won't get any present. Yes. If you don't <clears throat> a letter to Santa Claus, Remember that the if clause is followed by the verb in present and the result is in future, right? The same happens with the when clause. The when clause. Even if, even if negative or positive. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it is affirmative or negative. Simply yeah. If she doesn't, right? If she doesn't, if you don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you won't get any presents if you don't write a letter to Santa. So what you have to check is the that the if clause is followed by present. The result is followed by future. So it doesn't matter if you begin with the if clause or you begin with the result, like in number one. Here we have will at the beginning because we began with the result. And then we have the if clause here. Yeah, that's a difference. What about mm -hmm. number four? If Tom gets back earlier, he will tell will tell you about it. Exactly. He will tell you. He will tell you about it. Number five. If, if if I am if I am right if I am right they won't be able to pay back all the the key. <laughs> no bill. money all the money, money. Oh, all the money very good okay number number six she oh. She, she. she has she to drive. Have... She has to drive on the left side of the road when she goes to the to Britain. Yes, exactly. Questions. Questions. No. No question, teacher. Okay, let's go to the next one. You. You will pay a higher insurance if you buy a sport car. Aha. Uh -huh. You will pay. You will pay a higher insurance if you buy a sports car. What is insurance? What is insurance? Tax insurance. It's a... Uh... Aseguranza? Yeah, seguro. No. Aseguro. Mm -hmm. Policia. Yes. Number two, you will be able to see where is your tour on the land. Exactly. You will be able. You will be able to see better if you turn on the lamp. Number three. If they don't get 
get out of the room. Yeah. If they don't get up early, they can't they go can jogging. Go jogging. Exactly. If they don't get up early, they can't go jogging. Number four, if you don't put eso no es verdad. No. <laughs> Ay, that's not true. If you don't put too much sugar to your coffee, you won't put you won't put too much weight. That's not true. I don't put too much sugar to my coffee and but mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see number five. If he continues to work hard, if he continues to work hard, he will be. <laughs> he will be. Okay. If he continues to work hard, he will be the best in his class. And the last one, if Johnny plays in the mood, he? He que? He will. He will que? He will get dirty. Miren, hoy no es viernes, ¿qué les pasa? <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday. But it's, oh, right. but it's Monday. Come on. Near to the Tuesday. <laughs> ah, yes, very. Very. Near to the middle of the night, it's Thursday. <laughs> no. Wednesday. Ah, uh, you went to the Carnival of San Miguel, right? That's why you're tired. <laughs> no. There was another Carnival in Apopa, too. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's near from Nehapa, but mm. I... Ahí está. Ya lo descubrí, why you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Johnny plays in the mood, he will get dirty. If you go to the concert, to the concert, no, verdad? To the carnival <laughs> on the weekend, you will feel tired or more. Yeah, you will sleep in the class. <laughs> when I call you, you won't tell me present. If you fall asleep in class, you won't answer present when I call you. <laughs> okay, let's go to the manual here. <laughs> Por aquí me hicieron unas, unas rayas. Vamos a ver. Ahí está. Ni veo mi. Okay. I come, teacher, I come at 5 a.m. today. Wow, Carlita. To San Salvador, San Miguel. From San Salvador to San Miguel. You left San Salvador at 5. Yes. Oh. What time did you get to San Miguel? At 8. Three eight. hours. Eight. No, oh, eight. no. She got, she got at eight. That means three hours only. Three. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, because in the way we we uh, we eat. You you drive very easy so far so fast, my friend. Yes, you were in a helicopter. <laughs> 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 but I don't drive. Yeah, because imagine if you left San Salvador at five and you got there at eight and you still passed eating. Wow. Yeah, so fast. Yes. To Metapan, we used to do two hours without stop. And from Metapan, San Salvador. From San Salvador. Yeah. Because in the morning, there are uh, uh, less... 
traffic. There is less traffic. Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes the sun is bothering you. Uh -huh. And it's so difficult to drive with the sun in front. Sun in front of you. Yeah. Hey. That's... But congratulations and take care. Yeah. No, I, I don't drive. You don't you, who drives. But you, you drive very you need to. My brother that that work with me. The thing is mm, that okay. practicing on how to escape from the volcano, right? That's why you're driving very fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you say, let's see how much time we can get out of here. Yeah. Wow, well, because three hours is it's kind of kind of fast. But I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to do the sentences, checking. In the other one, it was easy because you just had to write the missing word. Here, no. Here you have to write the whole sentence and you have the, 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 the word that you have to use, when or if, depending on the case. Mm -hmm. When or if. I'm going to send you to the groups again, que después me arrepiento, fíjense. Pero lo, <laughs> ¿Y saben por qué me arrepiento? Porque se tarda más en convertir el, el video. Entre más los mando a los grupos, <laughs> más se tarda. Really? Grato, sí. Bye. Vamos a ver. Um, But it's great to, yeah, I know to, it's practice, it's to practice in groups. It's better to work in groups. Vamos yeah. a ver, Adriana María, José Alberto, Carla, Pedro. Pedro es sí. Adolfo, Adriana, Ma, Adriana, Sofía, José Arnoldo y Nubia. Miren, Nubia y hijos, lo vamos a ver. Siempre queda junta con Adolfo. Yeah. <ríe> ahí está, ahí está. Eh, Claudia, David, Fernando, Anubia, in the next group. Y Brenda Cruz, Rosy, Anzulma. Dash. Espero que no se me quede algún grupo calladito y tenga que moverlo <ríe> para hacerlo solo tres. Porque estoy mandando cuatro gentes. Espero que por lo menos tres estén hablando y ya que hay un oyente en cada clase, en cada grupo. Bueno, va, vámonos. Terry Wang. Right, page 31. Join, join. Five minutes. No, her Okay. No. Nadie quiere hablar. Pero... <ríe> Brenda, Zulma, vamos, 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 vamos. Cruz, no sé si está. Yo, yo estaba hablando sola, lo siento. <ríe> Con micrófono cerrado. Pero Así bueno, se practica solo, mejor. <ríe> solo veía que, solo movía la boca. Ay, yo. Eh, la... 31 is, is the page 51. Uh -huh. 31. Okay. Uh, the organization of the dog is bad. Of the dog is bad. Time is way over than necessary. Uh, when the organization of the dog is bad, 
Eh... Sí, bueno. ¿Eh? When the organization of the dog is bad. No, if. No, no, no. We have to put if. Uh, when. No, when. Aquí de la, aquí de la ah, palabra, palabra tenemos que okay. ordenar. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. eh, ok. When the organization of the dog is bad. What do you mean, dog? Muelle, muelle me sale. Muelle. Uh -huh. Sí, acuérdense que lo usábamos cuando estábamos hablando de que llegaba el, el arribo del, del producto y al doc. Uh -huh. When the organization of the doc is bad, time is wasted over unnecessary tasks. Ok. Right. If the financial department and uh, in a cure report, no. Mm -hmm. The same. If the financial department Department sends incurate reports. Mon money is lost. Mm -hmm. When the organization of the lock is bad, time is wasted over unnecessary tasks. Tasks. When the warehouse space is limited, space is limited. There's this organization, this organization. Okay. <clears throat> Number four. When the employees open boxes. Is a uh, when the employees open boxes and count items. <clears throat> Count, count items, items. Time, Time is waste. Waste. Uh -huh. waste. Uh, waste, waste. Yes. Waste. Waste es como acabado, ¿verdad? O, gastado. O Ajá, pero gastado, pero como desperdiciado. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, and the in the last is if there yes. is lack of, of communication yeah. communication between 
The warehouse space is limited. There yeah. is this organization. Okay. Um when there is this this organization. Okay, how to do if there are lags? We can use we we can add if. Tiene que ser one, verdad? Yeah. Sería como there will be there will be this organization mm, when the warehouse space no because is because this because this organization is a is a real situation and we have to do is yeah Okay, so there will be this organization when the mm -hmm. warehouse space is limited. There is there yeah. will be this organization when, the, when warehouse the warehouse space is limited. Okay, the employees open boxes and count items. Time is wasted. Yeah, time will be waste if we... Pongámoslo if, al principio ahora. Yeah. When the employees... Open boxes and I can be and count items. Wait. Items. Time will be, be wasted. wasted. There is lack of communication between employees. The time to fulfill order increase. If. if the time, yeah, if the time if to communication, if there is, if there if is, the right, time, the time to fulfill order increases, increases if there is, if there is. Uh -huh. Tell you. The time to fulfill to fulfill orders. order increases. No, will the will increase. Will increase if there is lack, lack of communication between employees. I have, I have an screenshot. Espérate, espérate. Voy sí. Okay. We can, we can repeat one more time. Okay, the check. organization of the dog is bad. Time is wait over unnecessary tax. Okay, we put time will be west over unnecessary tasks when the organization of the dog is bad. Mm -hmm. Money money will be lost in the financial department sends inaccurate report. There will be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> inaccurate reports. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And number three. When the house, when the warehouse space is limited. Uh -huh. There will. There will. This organization. There will be give me a second. It's okay, will be teacher. Or only will this organization. When the warehouse is limited, there will be the this or this organization. See, there will be. That's okay. okay. There will be. Yeah. When employees open boxes and count items, time deal with waste. Come. Time will be waste. Mm -hmm. Will be waste. Uh -huh. Will be wasted. There is a lack of communication between employees. And fulfill up there is increase. Mm -hmm. Okay. Se me pierde. Wasted is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, will be wasted. When employees open boxes and count items and count. Entonces, in the first sentence, time will be wasted. Wasted. Are necessary. Here. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Necessary. Aquí me faltaba. That's There is lack of communication between employees. If there is lack of communication between employees. The time to fulfill orders increases. The time to fulfill. The time. If the time to fulfill orders increases, there will be Lack of communication between people. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
if there is lack of communication between employees, the time to fulfill orders will increase. Maybe it's if that if the time to fulfill order increases. Mm -mm. Don't change the order. Okay. If lack of communication between employees. The time to fulfill orders will be, will increase. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm Okay. A ver, what do you have in number one? Number one. Number one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Whoever, teacher. Whoever. Okay. The the organis when the organization of the dog is bad. Mm -hmm. Comma. Time is wasted over unnecessary tasks. Is wasted or will be wasted? Uh, Time will be will be mm -hmm. will be waste. Bye, a pat. Will be. No te das cuenta que la regaste. Take it easy, my friend. Do not a whole lot. No ha sido el único. <laughs> yeah. Do not have a lot. Remember, remember that the clause that goes with if or with when is in present, but the other is in future, right? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Bueno, pongámosla todo de otro color. Oh, sure. Okay, what about the second? The financial, if. If the financial department. Mm -hmm. Send inaccurate report. Uh -huh. Comma. Uh, money will be lost. Money will be lost. Yes. Teacher. Hola. Another way. In this case, in this in this sentence, could be if money is lost, the financial department sends or will send inaccurate reports. No, porque lo culpable de que pierdan dinero es que los reportes no están correctos. Oh, money, money will be lost if the financial department sent inaccurate reports. I see. I see. Yeah. 
-huh. You just change the order. Mm -hmm. Because the cause of getting a, a loss of money is that the reports are not correct, right? Uh -huh. Imagine they are telling you, yeah, invest in this, in this uh, market. It is good, it is very good. And the reports are, are sent very, showing you that it is growing when it's not really, right? In that case, uh -huh. why is a stock market that is not good, you can lose all your inversion, right? Uh -huh. When? When the warehouse space is limited. Uh -huh. From that, there will be or this this organization. This organization is the, the pronunciation pitch. Sí, this organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when it, the employees, when the employees open boxes and count items. Huh? How much time will be wasted? Mm -hmm. Time will be wasted. Okay. A ver. ¿Qué nos toca? If. If. Uh -huh. If there is a lack of communica communication between employees. Mm -hmm. The time to fulfill orders will increase. Exactly. If there is in my comielis. Increase or increases. Increase porque lleva will. Okay, thank you. So you say, if there is, if there is a lack of communication between employees, the time to fulfill the orders will increase. Yeah. Any questions? Yes, no question. No question. Okay, okay, okay. No question and present teacher. Ya lo veo, ya van corriendo, ya van corriendo ya. Sí, sí, ¿verdad que sí? Yeah, I see my pillow flying. Yeah, imagine. Bueno, vámonos pues a hacer la bola. <laughs> We see. Time really flies. Okay, eh, Adolfo, present. Present, see you tomorrow. Blessing for all. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana. No, Ana. Brenda. Present teacher. Yes. Le voy a mandar un link de práctica para que se entretengan hoy. Ya se lo voy a mandar antes de que se me olvide.
que yo se los iba a poner aquí, pero ya no alcanzó el tiempo. Así es que ahí se los regalo para que se entretengan y se diviertan por un rato. Ok, let's see Brenda, Alexandra. Brenda. Present teacher. Y Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia Guadalupe. Cruz Antonio. Present. Eh, David. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Perdió José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Mauricio. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl no here, Ulma. Victor. Victor. Present teacher, present. Eh, Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Ok. ¿Quién se quedó la clase pasada? Ya en Zulma, ¿verdad? Víctor, le toca hoy. <ríe> Me voy corriendo ahí, Víctor. Bueno, see you tomorrow. Teacher, lo podemos dejar para mañana. Bye, bye. Good night. That's okay. Okay. Good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. See Good you. Night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Try to rest early. Good night for all. Good night. Hi, Nubia.